So hi folks, Ken Fitzpatrick here again for Westmeath Sports Partnership. Um, as you can see, we're on the lovely shores of Loch Ennell. So you're very welcome today to join us for some more self-defense tips. So I just want to recap on what we did the last day and then introduce a couple of new uh, techniques. And we're also said we're going to add in some exercises um, to some of those drills as well that we did the last day. So again, just to recap, uh, we spoke about the three A's of self-defense, so you're avoid, you're aware, and you're assert. So your assert is just to stick up for yourself and find those words um, if you're approached on the street, ask a lot of questions, that kind of thing, to, to try and disengage um, from the situation. Okay, so uh, we spoke about the fence position, so hands up, chin down, uh, fingers facing forward, nice, relaxed, knees soft, and we're in that position. So we need to try and talk away our trouble. So remember, hitting is a last, last, last resort. The last thing you ever want to do is hit out, okay? So remember that. So there's a thing called soft skills. You know, I wasn't looking at you. Can we talk about this? Whatever. Um, I don't smoke. And we touched on that the last time. Okay, so just to recap on what we did. So remember, we had our crash response moving forward. Our crash response. Then we had our counter attack with the hand and the elbow and the grab and the two knees. As soon as the toe hit the ground, we drive that knee in again, okay? And you have your target areas, which we spoke about, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little drill based around that combination. And um, we're going to add in a few little exercises, okay? So, the thing is, a good idea, again, we're at home, we don't have a lot of space, we don't have a lot of equipment, a household cushion, okay? A household cushion we can use for the impact work. Impact meaning hitting and training to hit, but it's the last thing we want to ever do. Okay, so, let's go through the drill. So, we start off with a three-quarter press-up. So from there, three quarters of press up, which is, I'm just going to do one or two. You can do five or ten, or you can do timed. So, nice press up all the way down, all the way back up. Okay. Get your, get your pad or your cushion, and from there, you're going to work nice and easy. You can do five hits. Okay, so that's your first one. Next one you're going to do dips for the backs of your arms, okay? So make sure you bend your elbows, nice and tight, fingers forward, bend your elbows, push up, nice and easy. Or if you're at home, you can use a chair or a bench, that kind of thing. Now from here, you're going to work your elbow strike. So from there, elbow, elbow, okay, into that position. Then your last one is your squats. So your nice, nice easy squats from there, and then you take your your cushion and from there you're going to work two knees two knees okay so you can work around you can do five you can do ten you can do 30 seconds or build it up to a minute it's up to you okay so what we're going to do now is we'll do a little drill we're going to put them all together in a combination a little bit harder okay so what we we'll do is we we'll put the exercises together and then the combination so also note that the exercises relate to some of the hits as well in a, in a kind of, in a roundabout way. Some of the exercises relate to the hits. So for example, the press ups, and then you have the heel of the hand, the dips, then you have the elbow and the squats, then you have the legs. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one or two of each. You can do five or 10, as I said, or 30 seconds a minute. So this time we're gonna put them all together. So we'll do a full press up. Press up, we have a dip. We have a squat, and then we put our combination together. So from there we work, and our two knees, we'll go again, and our two knees, okay? So that's that one, uh, takes a bit of energy, and uh, you can work on that and build it up. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna introduce you to the power slap and the hammer. But before I do that, I just wanna go through a little bit of another sign for you. Okay, so. Just a few fundamentals, okay, of your self-protection. So you have your impact training. That just means learning to hit. But the last thing you want to do, as we agreed, was to hit, okay? So impact training is just learning how to hit with different body parts. Body parts, we're looking at hand, elbow, knee, head, foot. So your natural body's weapons, okay, that you can use. Remember, fear will be present. Fear will be present in a situation, okay? But all it is, it's adrenaline that kicks in. So it's fight or flight. It's there to help us, okay? But we will be scared in a situation if it's confrontational. So 
We learn skills. It's good to know a little bit of law around self-defense. We're not going to go into it too much, okay? Um, do anything you can to improve or increase your self-confidence, public speaking, anything at all to help your self-confidence. And then you become less of a target on the street, if you like, for a potential predator. So the more you can do to build your self-confidence, last but not least, tactics. So we can work on tactics such as preempting a situation. We run away if we have to, escape, avoid, and we've touched on those before, okay? So just a few things on that. So. What we're going to work on now is what's called, some people like to call a power slap, okay? So we're going to work on a cupped hand. It's a whip-like action. If you just think of it like a, a catapult, um, that kind of action, like a shock action. So you're going to work off your fence. So it whips around from there onto the, the side of the face, the jaw, the neck, big area. Okay, so it's easy to access under pressure. So keep it simple. So from there, nice and easy from our fence position, and we come around with the what some people like to call the power slap, okay? So it comes around like that. Again, build it up, take your time, it comes around. Very hard to see, it comes outside the peripheral vision, okay? So that's your slap. So from there, we're gonna work your hammers. Just like a hammer, squeeze your fist nice and tight, especially the little finger. And we're gonna work three hammers. So from here, now not just this, we're gonna work one, two, three into that position. So again, the hammers, one, two, three. So let's put them together. So from there, from your fence position, you have your slap and then your hammers. Reset, remember, awareness, left and right. Okay, so again, from your fence position, chin down, eyes focus forward. You're trying to talk your way out of the situation. You've, maybe you've no escape, you've no option. You've no escape, you've no option. So if you have to hit, God forbid you have to hit, if you have to hit, you go with everything you have. You go with everything you have. So from there, your slap, and then into your hammers. Okay, so once more, slap and into your hammers. Okay, cycle the hammers. Use your body, your whole body. So let's just do that on the, uh, our improvised piece of equipment. So from there, fence position, hands up, so you have your slap and your hammers. Reset, your slap and your hammers. One more time, your slap and your hammer. Reset, check. Okay, so folks, again, thanks a lot for watching, folks. I hope you got a couple of ideas there. And uh, again, stay safe, stay strong, stay positive, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.